Kong Show. We are so glad that you are with us today. My name is Michelle Shirley, CEO and Chief Heart Officer for Be Strong International. And I want to welcome you to our show today. Of course, if you don't know about Be Strong International, we are trying to be everywhere worldwide. Our headquarters are in Palmetto Bay, and we're excited about all the amazing things that we are doing this year. We are celebrating 30 years of service to Miami-Dade County, and we've stretched into Broward County as well. So I'm just so excited. Thanks to community newspapers for allowing us to be here today to broadcast our show to you live. Be Strong is about moving individuals and families from brokenness to wholeness. And when we're talking about brokenness, we're talking about the traumas, the individual choices that people keep repeating that allows them to believe a lie or a misconception about themselves. And now they can't walk into their success, right? And so what we want to do is through heart skills education, we want people to be able to become whole spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and socially, right? That you can find love, you can be loved, you can enjoy life and be free from all the things that um, are out there that will cause us to like not walk into being our true selves. And so I'm just excited that you're here. And of course, um, we have an amazing guest today. Her name is Lisa Greer. She is first vice president of South State Bank. And on top of that, she is the chairman for the um, South Dade uh, Chamber, right? And so many other titles. So I'm just going to let her jump in and say hello. So good morning. Yes, I'm Lisa Greer. I'm with South State Bank. Um, I also, in the community, wear a couple of different hat hats. I also am on the board of Be Strong International, and I'm also the chair of the South Dade Chamber of Commerce and the chair of the Economic Development Council for South Miami-Dade. So lots of lots things stuff. to keep yes. busy. Lots, lots of, of stuff. And yes. lots, yeah, lots yes. of stuff. And before we get into the deep dive of like banking and just a chamber and all that stuff. I just want to let the viewers know, I don't know if you noticed my new shirt today. Yeah. <laughs> Chief Heart Officer, we are also on Instagram. So please make sure you follow us on Instagram at all of our handles. But Chief Heart Officer, I got my shirt today. Thanks to my amazing marketing uh, manager, uh, Monica is amazing. I know she's like right now in the studio and she's like, why are you shouting me out? But I love her so much because she made this a reality and now my shirt is here. Woo! All right. So anyway, so back to you. I do want to kind of talk a little bit about how long you've been at a South State Bank. I know all, many banks are changing and, and, and merging and, and a lot of things are happening economically with banks. And so just wanted to talk, have, you know, have that conversation about kind of like where the banking industry is also headed and the fraud that's happening so okay so yeah so i've been around for a long time um south state is a culmination of a lot of banks that have been acquired and merged throughout the years but my total tenure with the bank is 20 years wow so i've been there that's for 20 good. years that's impressive. i've been in banking for 40 so i have Whoa. seen a lot of things change yeah. um over my lifetime in banking from regulatory constraints to economic the economic environment you mentioned fraud Fraud is a huge, huge concern for both individuals and businesses. Right. Um, we always want to make sure that our customers understand that they are their own first line of defense. And with all of the online access that we give mm. in both, you know, for consumers and business, you have every opportunity to really follow your own funds and protect yourself. Yeah. We have a lot of, we have some, um, products that help our business customers protect their accounts as well so yeah there's a lot of things that we can do together yes that's great that's great are there any specific tips that you all walk consumers through when it comes to banking safely online and avoiding fraudulent activity the biggest thing is as far as fraudulent activity whether it's personal or business you know we all have email we all have digital social media accounts don't click on something you don't know or are not expecting to come through. Mm. Don't provide personal financial information if you're not absolutely certain who's asking that of you. If you ever have a question, you call the bank. You call yep. the bank and ask yeah. them, is this real? Um, or you contact an agency if you've been contacted by an agency on your email or social media. So the biggest thing is, is don't 
trust but verify yeah is the biggest thing trust yeah. but verify that's good that's yeah. good rules to live by yeah that's really great i want to talk a little bit more about south state okay. you all have been phenomenal in supporting be strong in so many ways and especially financially you've given us you know of course amazing gifts i won't put it out there right <laughs> there but the, just the just the fact that you all care about the work that we're doing speaks volumes and I do have to say thank you, Lisa, for just being on our board. She is the president of our board, so she kind of downplayed that. A little. She is the president of our board, and um, I think you've been the president now for about uh, two years. Two years. Two years, two years right? Yeah. An exciting ride. Yes, right? very exciting ride. Very proud to do that. Very proud for the bank to support Be Strong International because you know what? You all do exactly what we look for in the community that we can't do ourselves. Yeah. So how best, you know, to get out there and reach the mm -hmm. community than to support Be Strong. Yes. No, I appreciate it. It means a lot. It means a lot. How did you find out about Be Strong, though? I just want to know. So, <laughs> funny story. Um, I was at a chamber function a few years ago, met a couple of people from Be Strong, did not know anything about Be Strong right. at all. Right. They were telling me about, oh, you should come to a lunch and learn. I'm like... Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll go to something right, else, right? right? I'll go to and I went to the lunch and learn and heard about the programs, heard you speak, heard the testimonials, and sat there in just disbelief, mm. in awe. Like, this doesn't really happen. Yeah. There's not really Aww. this kind of an agency out there Aww. truly putting their heart and soul out there in the community. And what now three four years later? I know. <laughs> you're stuck with us lisa that's it Love she's it. not going anywhere it. you're right right, right. No, you're not going anywhere no. no this was great i i mean i really i really think that the journey that we've had together has been really amazing we've learned so much um i do also want to say that i remember when you came to that luncheon mm -hmm. i was actually on parking lot duty kind of thing oh. i went outside i said you know let me get some fresh air let me just tell the guests where to go and i saw you and then I came inside and I was like, oh, I'm just going to stand. I don't know if you remember. I was like in the kitchen area, but I was like, I'm just going to stand right here if you don't mind. It's hot, you know, and that's how we made conversation. And then from that first step to now being our president, I just want to say thank you. You're very welcome. Yes. <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love awesome. It. Love well, let's you. talk about the chamber okay. and your active role as being the chairman, right? How is, you know, how is that for you juggling these different roles, right, as a business leader and then being a part of a community organization and then the chamber, right? Maybe you can speak to some women today about how they're learning to balance those right. things. And Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I have all the answers <laughs> for balancing. I feel like I'm juggling all the time. But somehow, somehow when you juggle all your different roles in the community, somehow it tends to it works. Yeah. It just works, especially if you have a passion for it. So I've been involved in the chamber, the South Day Chamber, for four years, very similar to Be Strong. Um, and, you know, made my way up through the executive committee, was chair elect last year, and then chair this year. And the chamber's doing so many things that are mm. exciting for our small businesses, for our, our um, agritourism industry in the South Miami Dade area. For our military as well, we support mm. the military personnel and families in our area. So there's a lot to do. Mm. We've, got a, we've got four signature events that we host every year. Plus, we sprinkle in membership, you know, membership meetings and things. So it's just it's a it's lot. Good. It's a lot. It's right? a lot. But we have a great board. That's wonderful. Great board, great yeah. staff, and without that, I mean, you know, yes, if you don't have a great staff, you you yes. can't get it done. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's fun. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some benefits of someone saying you know what there's so many chambers why join yours what are some benefits that you could share with our audience today about the Absolutely. chamber so with the chamber if you're a member you have the opportunity to come on a very similar interview process called our shout out and that is basically a free opportunity to talk about you your business and get it out there in all social media platforms we also have a an article in the local South Miami Dade news leader that we allow our, mm -hmm. our members to write an article so we help them, you know, get their word out that way. The networking events obviously that's you know, you, if you're a member you have to show up. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you remember, you have to show up so yeah. that you can meet network. people, mingle, yeah. and network. That's that's the beauty of a chamber is the really ultimate 
networking benefits and you have to take full advantage of those. Yeah. For our um, higher level members, our trustees, we do special trustee only events mm. so that we give them a little extra yeah. exposure, um, nice. tours, things of that nature. For instance, yeah. next week we've got a, a tour of Homestead Air Reserve Base for our trustees. So nice. that's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah, nice stuff. that's very good. That's very good. No, that's good. Okay, so then where would they go to sign up if they want to be a member? They would go directly to the South Day Chamber um, website. Okay. Just, you know, look it up, Google it, and go right in there and get an application package and, and apply. Awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. So now everyone knows. No excuses. Join the no chamber, excuses. right? That's exactly right. No excuses. All right. Um, I want to also talk to you a little bit about um, your journey in your career, right? And you've seen those changes, and it kind of goes back to where we talked about before, where you've seen this industry change, right? And we're living in a time where things are changing so fast, so much more drastically. How do you speak to that woman who is in their current career they're juggling i mean you've been there you've juggled the kids you've juggled you know juggled so many other things how do you speak to them today about you know staying focused on their careers or finding what is you know positive for them so that they can continue to succeed and i think it has feel to satisfied? do it boils down to passion mm. if you have the passion for your job your career because there's a difference between a job and a career yeah if you have a passion for your employer, for your mission with your employer, for your and you and you get you make sure that you get something out of it. Right. You know, when I'm when I'm working with customers, if I have the opportunity to help a customer, there's no greater feeling than seeing the joy in my customer's face that we've been able to help them. Mm. That's the passion. Yeah. That's what we reach for. Um, as far as like doing other things outside of your your career, again, it boils down to passion. Yeah. If you don't have a passion for that interest that you want to spend some time in, it's not going to work. Yeah. You've got to have that passion. Mm -hmm. It's all about the passion. Yeah. No, that's and good. It, and it, somehow it works. I don't ask me. <laughs> there's there's nights when I go to sleep and I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this tomorrow. <laughs> But then tomorrow but comes, you make it. and we work, and we and you make it through. And we make it happen, and you know I ask but myself you... that question every night: How am I going to do this tomorrow? <laughs> but we do it. But Lisa, I've seen you work, and I've seen your work ethic, and you you operate with just such a level of excellence that I feel like anything you touch is just it's there. It's like you said, all of your 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 interests and your passions and your motivation internally really exudes you know outside and it's just it's amazing to see and so i think people see that and that's why you're in all of these Whew. roles right. and why people have selected you and chosen you because you've really been committed to doing that in every area of business so that's great so hopefully women are encouraged today that are listening so. in yeah it's because you've got to give back you no matter what career you're in what industry you're in you've got to give back our community needs yeah. that help yeah, yeah. You know? In what ways to, um, for maybe nonprofit leaders that might be watching us today, what ways can they reach out to banks to get the support that they need for their programs? Because there are so many amazing programs that are like Be Strong that are out mm -hmm. there in Miami looking for funding, looking for support, looking for mm -hmm. um, a bank to partner with them, especially in low income areas where there's a lot of need. Right. What do you suggest? How do you? So, you know, banks are required. Um, it, it's it's regulatory. We're required to give back to our community, especially where there's, you know, there's a, a definite need. Push that aside. It's the right thing to do. Mm. It's the right yes, thing to do as a business, um, as a profession, as an industry. It's the right thing to do um, to get involved in your community. For nonprofits that are either starting or established, they all have to have a bank account somewhere. Right. I'm, I'm always touting get to know your banker. Get to know your banker. If you just have a bank account and you don't know anybody in your bank, mm. then you may not be at the right bank. Wow, you're dropping some good, she's <laughs> dropping some good stuff, y'all. <laughs> Nonprofit leaders, come on. Yeah, yeah, so get to know your bank. Ask the questions. If, if, if your banker doesn't want to sit down with you and just talk, and brainstorm, mm. then you're not right. You're not with the right banker. We, wow. we want to coach. We want to guide. We want to help. We want to answer those hard questions sometimes that whether you're a nonprofit or for-profit business, you may not want to hear. 
but we want to get you to that next step. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. That's really good. I love that. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. So hopefully people are educated today and got some information from you about these different areas that all these hats that you wear, right? <laughs> Right. So our next segment of the game is of our of our show is Social Yaks. Yeah. It's a game that I we created. It. Yes. We're now on Amazon. You can get Yay. with Prime and you can order the game today. We just uh, finished our sale, but we'll have some other things coming up. But we are really excited about our game and I want you to play it today. So. We're going to start with our polar bear uh, level, okay. breaking the ice. And so you're going to pick a card. Okay. You're going to read the card out of watching A Christmas Story every single Christmas Eve wow. to where we could recite the words. The words. <laughs> and so it would be like this game of who could recite the next line faster. So it's just fun. Aww, you know, just that's fun so and good. genuine. Yeah, that's, that's, so good. that's a good one. I like that's that. Really one. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I should try that. Wow, yeah. my kids might be like, oh, that's old. Oh. Yeah. They're so picky nowadays so with what they want to watch. Our house, something will happen. We'll go, you'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> yeah, we know it by heart. So. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's really good. I love that. That's super <laughs> cool. I might think about how I want to change my traditions, right? Yes. And do some fun family things um, yeah. besides just opening gifts. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, don't want the kids to get caught up in just that. Right. That's right. good. I like that. I might steal that. Okay. Experienced mom. Okay. <laughs> to mom. Okay. So you have another one for me. Yes. If you All want right. to pick another one. Oh my. <laughs> this is for breaking the ice. This is kind of a tough one. Who do you admire most in the world and why? Well, I, I, I mean, aside from my relationship with yeah, right. God, you know, <laughs> I have a long time ago, I started listening to Dr. Laura Schlesinger and mm. I loved her message all the time because I used to work on Brickell and the, so that drive was long and I would listen to her radio program and just her common sensical approach about life and mm. relationships wow. very similar, and relationships and she would end every segment with go do the right thing which was a mantra that I spoke to my kids mm. over and over do the right thing always do, do the, the right thing. thing yeah yeah even when no one's looking even when do no one's the right looking. thing do i'm always right telling thing. my kids that yeah yes tell the truth no tell matter truth. what tell the truth because you'll always be found out <sighs> so yeah. good then, so good yeah then, oh wow Whew. is she still alive is yes she is oh, okay she's right, and cool. i think she still has a radio show but i haven't you know i listened to it i long. haven't listened to yeah. it in a long time but her words always stuck in my head wow. especially when it came to relationships that's good. Yeah. That's good. Because I didn't well, know you strong at that time. Yeah. <laughs> and now you do. <laughs> and now you do. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we're going to move on to our next level, okay. which is getting social. That's our yak level. So if okay. you want to select so a card just there. to be a card here. All right. When do I feel most like myself? That has to be at home. Has to be at home. Yeah. Because they know my, my pretty, my stress, my ugly. They know my sad, my, you know, my. Yeah my worried they know mm -hmm. it all and mm -hmm. they, they don't kick me out yes <laughs> so I, I feel most like myself at, at home, home. I, maybe most people do yeah i think so right um it's your it's your safe space, my safe space. yeah it's definitely and, my safe space and it's good to know that when you're in that safe space those people love you no matter what right mm -hmm. um that's good and i you know, like they've that they've also learned my kid uh, you know my kids are grown um but they've learned that you know mom and dad aren't perfect we're not perfect 
So it's okay I to love be that too. imperfect. Yes, yes. Yeah. I've said sorry to my son many times, yes. right? I was yes. like, mommy just came home. Give me a second, please. Yeah. Okay. I that that was <laughs> Stressed. Like, yeah. Let's and I'll go to again. him. Yeah. And I'll go to him and say, again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And they need to see that. You're they human. And, er, you know, you fail, but you work on it. Get you back go up. back and you reconcile with the person. And, mm-hmm. yeah, all this relationship stuff. Relationship oh, stuff. It's, it's all it's about amazing. it. It's all about it. Join, be strong. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to do this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, when will you know you've made it? In quotes. Made it. <laughs> wow. You know what? Honestly, I don't think I will in this life. No. No, because you have to keep going. Yeah. You, you just have, have to, to keep to... going and growing. I I think I will feel like I have made it when I pass on and hopefully yeah. get accepted. That. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, then I'm like, that's it. Woo! I, I did, did my I did I my did job. It. I did I my did job. It. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> that's made it. That's oh, that's good. Yes. That's great. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go into the dig deeper level where we're gonna just we're gonna dig into Lisa's stuff, right? <laughs> so we don't know what we're gonna have here, but we already disclaimed they're not perfect, right? <laughs> so we'll figure this out. All right, so oh, I'm so we've got another one. Over. So yeah. mm-hmm. so pick any one. For dig deeper. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> what regrets would you have if you were to die today? Wow. Mm. Regrets. I, wow. I guess it would be that I never feel like I've done enough Mm. for my family or others. So if I were to die today, I would regret not being there for those mom moments. I call them mom moments, whether it's at work, whether it's in an organization, whether it's my home, it's mom moments where you're the mom yeah you know yeah yeah yeah. you're there there. for your kids for your family for your Mm. friends i would regret not being there for that Mm. wow yeah wow 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 yeah don't make me cry Uh, i know we're not gonna go there oh all right so one more i want to pick one more okay looking back was there a turning point in your life oh my gosh all we've talked about is relationships (laughs) And mom moments and imperfections. And I have to say, yes, you know, I've always thought about I was a different person before I had children. Hmm. Then I had children and like this mama bear came out that I didn't know I had deep inside of me. (laughs) And it was a pivotal moment. And it bled into my work and it bled into friendships and it's Hmm. bled into my life where I have this. Again, I have this saying, don't ask for my opinion unless you want to sit down and hear it. So, but that comes from motherhood. Yeah, yeah. So that's, to me, that's pivotal. And I've long since, you know, grown my kids, but it's, there's still that, that motherhood, yeah. those instincts that are, they don't go away. Yeah, they don't and go you away. use them all the time. Yeah, so yeah. That, that was pivotal for me. And you use, use them with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, which is great. We Thank do. you. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wrap this up. The last level is use wisdom, and that's the owl level where the game kind of changes, and I get to share something positive concerning you. Okay. So I'll read the card, and that's what I love most about this game, the encouraging piece at the end. So it says, if this was the last time we saw each other, what's up with this stuff? Okay, what would you tell me? So that's you have to answer so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna answer it for you so if it was the last time (laughs) that i were to see you what would i tell you yeah i would um i would say to you you rock i don't want to cry i know we've been through a lot (laughs) (laughs) like we can't do this on tv all right (laughs) Yeah, I just want to you you um you came at a time. Oh my god, this is too much. You came at a time when I just kind of felt like we're doing great work and feel like nobody cares. And then you came in and you're like, mm, and I believe in this and what do you need? And sometimes that's what leaders need to just get that person to come alongside them and say 
I believe in this, what you're doing, and I want to invest in this, and I want to give my time. Because it's not always about money, but just time. Yeah. So, oh, my God, this is... Sorry, Lisa. It's all right. I didn't mean to do that, but better you than that's me, what I was saying. I'm an, ugly, I'm an ugly crier. It's not pretty, so don't even cry. All right, I'm like, oh no, I have to close oh, the show. No. So, <laughs> so with that said, I don't know if you want to say any thing to the audience, any last nuggets that you want to share as far as banking or the chamber. So um, yeah, my you know my life is pretty full between family and work and community. And it's all so very important because it, there's an integration there that it's almost like one <clears throat> one segment can't survive without the other. So <clears throat> what I would say is obviously if you're obviously if you're not happy with your bank, you come see us at South <laughs> State Bank. You know we would love to be we'd love for you to be a part of our family. If <clears throat> if you are with South State Bank, I would say thank you because we're, we don't exist without you. As far as like community and be strong, if you don't know who Be Strong International is, by golly, start off with the website, ask questions, you know, Definitely. come to a luncheon, yeah. fall in love. <laughs> that does not go away. The honeymoon is not over yet, and it's not gonna be over. So cool. <laughs> and offer up your time and talents um, for this mission to continue. There, there, there's. It's growing so much yeah. and so fast and so furious, mm -hmm. but all in the right direction that that yeah. we need to help. Yep. Yeah. Right? Oh, this is great. Help. Sounds like a board member Sorry. spiel. <laughs> right. But yeah. no, you're amazing. And so thank you for that. So I do want to close out the show by just saying thank you so much for joining in with us today. We hope you had a wonderful time. Sorry about the tears. So hopefully my tears aren't still showing on the camera. Um, but apart from that, definitely follow us on all of our social media channels. Be strong. I N T L. We hope to hear from you. And like Lisa said, um, we do want um, your help and your support and all the things that we're doing as it relates to healthy relationships. With that said, it's never too late to start over again. You can always make a change in a new direction. We're here to help. Talk to you soon.